Good day, everyone. Welcome to uh, another clear night. Uh, it's pretty warm. I've got a full moon uh, in the background, um, but I'll take what I can get. Um, I'm imaging with a DSLR uh, Canon 1200D uh, and a astronomic uh, CLS filter um, just because I'm trying to get some broadband targets in so I'm going to see if I can still get the Pleiades. Uh, if I can that would be great. Um, if not I'm going to have a go at Omega Centauri and the I think it's the Witchhead Nebula um, but yeah we'll see how we go um, and then after this uh, session. Uh, I'm going to look at putting the 533 um, on my Evo Guide uh, 50 ED uh, to see how it goes. Uh, poor man's Red Cat 51. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. So it might not look like it, but that full moon <laughs> is pretty much blinding already. Um, so we'll see how we go tonight. It's pretty warm too, so I'm expect expecting uh, a bit of noise from the Canon 1200D. Um, yeah, but, you know, that's what noise exterminator is for. Another glorious sight. Um, so we only got a little bit of the Pleiades. I don't think I got enough data, um, but we did get Omega Centauri M83 uh, Galaxy um, and a little bit of the Witcher Nebula. Uh, but as you can see, it was a really good night. And here we are uh, about three or four weeks later. Um, I didn't mean for this to take so long, um, but life's just gotten in the way of uh, me getting some uh, videos done. Um, but in the end, um, I ended up taking um, photos of a few targets. Um, so NGC 5139, Omega Centauri, uh, M83, the Southern Pinwheel Galaxy, uh, IC2118, the Witchhead Nebula, uh, M45, uh, the Pleiades, and the Large Mangelatic uh, Cloud. Some came out uh, really, really well, um, and some, uh, I know, just didn't turn out um, as well as I thought. Uh, some definitely probably just needed a bit more data. Um, but it was mainly um, M45 um, uh, Pleiades and the Witch Head Nebula uh, wasn't very successful, especially the Witch Head. Um, I know there's a few um, DSLR shots that I've seen which look amazing, but I just I couldn't really get any data out uh, over the hours um, that I took footage. So, um, and just before we get into the images, I just want to note that my average sensor temp was about 35 degrees Celsius. So it was just super hot um, all the time, um, but I still think um, that some of the images came out um, pretty well despite that. Uh, so Omega Centauri, uh, super, super happy uh, with this one. Um, I don't know why I never got around to uh, doing a star cluster uh, sooner. Um, I guess mostly because I kind of focused on narrow band, but yeah, really happy with the colors um, and how that image turned out. Uh, so large Magellanic cloud, uh, this is just off the cusp, I had some spare time, I was waiting for another target to pop up so I thought I'll just point it that way. Um, and only 45 minutes worth of exposure which I thought was um, pretty good uh, for that image, uh, pretty happy with that one. Um, so M83, uh, really really happy uh, with this one, it's probably uh, the most detail I've got out of a galaxy before, I haven't really focused on galaxies much um, but yeah four and a half hours exposure happy with that one so yeah I can't see anything uh, IC2118 three hours of exposure um, just couldn't get anything uh, out of Pixon site so I'm not sure if I was doing something wrong or I just need more time uh, but yeah that was that um, and Pleiades. Um, I only got an hour worth of data, um, but that's pretty much the best I could make it look. Um, even though it does look quite dark, it's probably the best image um, that I could kind of get um, uh, out of that one. Probably just need a lot more time. Um, 
And yeah, that's pretty much all I have. A um, bit of broadband work for us. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm really happy with those first three images. Uh, last two definitely need um, a bit more work or a bit more time. Uh, I don't think I'll get around to doing uh, the Pleiades again until next year with how it's setting over my house. Um, I did struggle with calibration frames and getting rid of my vignetting. Um, even though I was taking flats for, for everything, based my dark flats off that, um, or sometimes I'd use um, just bias and dark, see if that made a difference, but I couldn't really get rid of the, the gradient um, for some reason. Um, so I had to do some, uh, I don't know, pretty average edit, <laughs> pretty average editing uh, on the background, but um, most of them came out um, all right. Uh, but yeah, next video, I'll be hooking up uh, the 533 um, to my Evo Guide 50ED. Uh, I'm super stoked to try that out. I've been wanting to try it out um, pretty much since I've got it. Um, so yeah, um, I'll have a look, probably look at doing the same uh, targets and then see what kind of difference there is. Um, I might make a video on that. Uh, but yeah, cheers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everyone's comments and see you in the next one.